Welcome back ladies and gents to the Borderlands 2 Mechromancer playthrough. We are here, and last episode we just got through, broke all the pipelines and reached the Arid Nexus Badlands. And uh, we're going to go ahead and proceed to reach the Hyperion Info Stockade. Now I'm going to make a minor detour here. I'm not going too far out of the way, but... I'm going to go ahead and clear Firestone. So if you played Borderlands 1 or ever watched me play Borderlands 1, this is a nice retro throwback. This is Firestone indeed. So I thought that was pretty darn cool of them to add that in. That's a little bit of a tribute to their their previous game. Arguably a uh, what put them on the map. I know 2K has a lot of games, but you know. This was really damn impressive, Borderlands series. I go Death Trap. It's really nice about the Varuk at this kind of range. I'm kind of hitting all of them at the same time. <laughs> Alright, so we're good there. This box can spawn. The box could spawn a loot midget, so you have to be careful there. Oh, there's a couple chests that we can grab here. The first one is a very easy one. All you're simply going to do is jump up here. Jump as far as you can to the wall, and there's Claptrap's secret chest. Which apparently has nothing of importance. Sweet. And actually, if you jump back up here... Whoops. Can I jump up here? I don't think I can. No. Uh, let's jump back up here where we, where we were. You're going to want to look up. Look up right there. There's an electrical fuse box, as you can see. Now, I have 150 stacks of anarchy. Uh, so it's going to be a little tricky for me to hit it. But I'm going to try to try my best to hit it. And I did. Now, what that does is that actually... Unlocks the electrical fence uh, that's closing off Dr. Zed's, or what was formerly Dr. Zed's um, work, medical practice area. And that gives you access to another red chest. And the medical, uh, the med vendor. Ooh, pretty E-Tech. A twin spiker, pretty good weapon. Spikers are, no, are the weapons that reflect, or excuse me, they ricochet. And I think that actually works wonderfully with Gage, so that would be something we can definitely use. And it is Shock, which is a good element. It kind of applies to most characters, and it's not very limiting. Also, I went ahead and did a quest uh, while I was leveling up, and I got an auto-correcting Fibber. Uh, this Fibber in particular is not very good. The Fibber that you do want will have an obscene amount of damage. And as you can see here, these are all lies. Would I lie to you? Yes, because it is a Fibber. It is a lying gun. All these stats are wrong. I don't know what the actual stats are on the gun, but a good Fibber, a good ricocheting Fibber, is a Fibber with a lot of damage up here. It'll say something like 3,000 damage in uh, I level 27 or so. So that's the best Fibber if you are interested in that, which you're probably not. <laughs> Uh, let's see if there's any shields. Not that I see here. Well, let's sell some of this stuff then. Alrighty, so we're going to continue to clear out this town by kind of walking around, making sure that everything that's around here is dead. And there's a reason for that, uh, is that we need to make sure that, that we're not going to be snuck up on at all. Uh, so you're going to want to try to kill everything that you can. Okay, being cautious not to uh, get overzealous. Okay. So everything is killed there, and we're going to want to restock on ammo. Uh, because now we're going to engage in the Saturn fight, but in a very unique way that... Um, I personally found, however, it could have been found before. Uh, I'm not saying that I came up with this by any means, uh, but I was, to my knowledge, the first person to find this quote-unquote glitch spot uh, in which you can kind of cheese Saturn a little bit. So uh, what you're going to do is very simple. I'm uh, just going to jump up here, jump up here. 
Uh, you're going to do a little bit of a strafe jump to get up here. And you can actually kill Saturn from right here. Whoops. From right here. And his, um, his little projectile hickamadoodles that he shoots at you will actually not reach you. So uh, what you're going to do, as soon as you activate or, or spawn Saturn, you're going to spin around and, and you guys will see. See what I mean. So we're going to just do a quick loop here. As soon as you hear that big first initial thump, Saturn is spawned. And so you're just going to sprint right back here. Avoiding getting hit. Like a boss. Uh, you can also additionally just jump right here. And get it through here. And right now you are 100% completely invulnerable to Saturn. He cannot hit you. Um, he'll be able to fire at you, shoot at you, but he will not be able to hit you. You, however, can shoot back at him. Uh, as you can see, I'm pretty far away, uh, so I'm going to have to be spamming a lot. This fight's going to take quite some time. I don't think my grenades can home that far, but we're going to throw them and see. Will they reach Saturn? Or will they just disappear into the night? Let's see. I'm pretty sure they're going to disappear into the night. They're de most definitely disappearing into the night. So... This is a very cheesy way to do the fight. However, as you can see, level, Saturn is level 30. Uh, he's fairly strong. And uh, I wouldn't exactly be able to do this uh, easily. Or as easy as this. So I'm just going to go ahead and expend all my ammo. Aiming at his general torso. You can even pop up a little bit higher. But you do risk getting hit. Uh, you have to just find that sweet spot between him not being able to hit you. And... Uh, yeah, I think this is a sweet spot right here. I have a pretty good range of him, but he doesn't have a good range of me. Now, fortunately, I do have a uh, an E-Tech corrosive weapon. However, I am going to be hitting a lot of his uh, his projectiles that he just he throws out there. So I'm going to have to kind of spray and pray here. Hope for the best. If you do go any higher, uh, as in you elevate yourself and, and move up, you will get hit. Uh, so you got to be really careful there. Yeah, not many of these are are getting through the Saturn. The sheer volume of the Varuk is what let me hit him, uh, which was nice. But uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we can take him out here. We have lots of SMG ammo, so this might take a little while. And if you don't want to watch it, you can skip ahead. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it, guys. He's just under halfway already. The Varuk, to be fair, did a lot of that. Uh, and also, something I want to mention with Saturn is, uh, I've been, well, I haven't, I watched The the Hunt, which is uh, a challenge event that took place on Twitch, and it essentially was uh, a list of legendary and unique items that uh, a bunch of streamers got together and went uh, went ahead and tried to farm them as fast as they could. First one to complete this list of, you know, 60 some odd guns wins. Now, the relevancy of me saying that is that Saturn drops a unique, I believe it's a rocket launcher. Um, and the difficulty with Saturn, or with farming Saturn, is that for whatever reason, the area below, just below Saturn is a, a really, really poorly coded and poorly ammo. formatted area. This might kill him. A little bit more. Um, there we go. So the area below Saturn, again, like I stated, is a very poorly coded or, or, or very loose area so what happens is a lot of the spawns if he ends up jumping down which he does fairly frequently and fairly often um unfortunately a lot of the spawns that that may have dropped from saturn actually end up going through the ground which means you lose them which means you lose the possibility of getting a very very un nice unique weapon legendary what have you however with that technique that i just used Saturn, like, 9 out of 10 times, no, 9.9 .9 out of 10 times, uh, will not, uh, will not jump down, meaning that all his loot will spawn in the top and on the bottom. However, it will not fall through the ground, which is really, really nice. So, you can rest assured that more, it's relatively safe in assuming that most of his loot will end up on top of the bridge. You also have some loot that gets scattered about here. Uh, simply because he, you know, kind of projects it all. As you can see, a lot of the loot is up there. That's a pretty safe way 
of uh, acquiring Saturn's loot without really worrying about all that crap despawning in the ground there. So let's go ahead and use the uh, the stockade elevator here and see what we got going on. See a purple, but that's just iridium, so no good spawns from Saturn. Uh, maybe it did end up, you know, flying through the ground. I don't know. Now this, this next area can also be tad dangerous. Uh, so I have to be a little more cautious. Also, Jack is torturing Lilith. Uh, 